What's up guys? Welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Today we will cover effects and presets, how to use an effect, also export with a transparent background. So right here is the home screen. All right. So then we click on new project. This gives us our panel in After Effects. Sometimes the panel is completely different depending on who was using it last or if you were doing something completely different. So a lot of times what I recommend is just going up to window right here at the very top uh, side. You can see it says window. You click on window, click on workspace, and then you can click on all panels. Sometimes that brings it up. It's looking a little funky right now, but uh, you can see we have all of our panels on the right hand side here. So then if we just take our cursor and go up to default, we can click on default. And then that should just bring everything back to normal right here. All right. So with that being said, what we're going to do is import our footage. Now, depending on your computer, obviously my computer is different and our files are in different places. So you're just going to have to find your file and import it, but you can import it the same way. Okay. So we can go to new composition from footage. And what this does is it creates a, composition based on the specs from your file. So if you have a 4K file, it's going to create a 4K composition. If you have a 1080p file, it's going to create a file that's 1080p. So let's just click on new composition from footage. So I have my flat earth file right here. As you can see, the dimensions are uh, 2048 by 1040. So I click on this. And then I just go down to import. You see at the bottom right hand side. So I click on import and then it imports the file into After Effects. So if we see it fills up the entire screen right here. Now, sometimes After Effects can be a little bit different based on the last time you worked in it. So if your image is too small or too big, you can always go right here. It says 50 percent. And you can click on this little arrow and then you can click on fit to 100%, which fills up the entire frame right here. All right. So your composition should look exactly like this. Now, moving up into effects. Effects and presets on the right hand side. If you don't see this, don't get upset. Um, sometimes like you can make sure that you click on default that doesn't pop up. Uh, we can also go up to window at the very top right here. Click on window, go to workspace, and then we can just go down to effects and click on effects. Now this will bring up the effects and presets on the right hand side. OK. So with the effect we're going to use today is CC sphere. So we can just click in this little search box right here and then type in CC S P H and you can see we don't have to type in the entire word because it brings it up for us automatically. So the next step, what we want to do is we just want to click and drag the effect all the way down onto our flat earth file and then release it. And what we have here, is a flat earth with CC sphere effect on it, which creates a world looks like a world. Um, and then once we add an effect onto something, so we added the effect down here and then our effects and control panels are up here. So we added CC sphere so you can see the effect CC spheres right here. And then it gives us other options to uh, adjust the CC sphere effect. So if we click on these arrows, you can see that it allows us to rotate the earth. If we click and drag the numeric value, you can see that the earth moves. If we click on this numeric value for rotation Y, you can see it twist in a different direction. So anytime you see a drop down arrow, these arrows allow you to have more options regarding what you want to do with the earth. You can see the radius actually makes it get larger. My background right here is transparent. As you can see, the white and gray squares, that is called a transparent background. 
if you don't see that, it's because your transparency toggle isn't switched on. So you can easily, you can see right here, it's highlighted in blue since my grid is toggled on. You can click on it and then you might have a black background. If you don't have a black background, it's because in your composition, um, your background settings are completely different, which don't matter right now because we're going to be exporting with a transparent background. So you can just click on that toggle switch and then you will have the transparent background right here. You can see the white and gray squares. All right. So now what we want to do is export it with a transparent background. So to export it or render it out, what we need to do is go up to the top left hand side of the screen. So we go up to file, and then we go down to export and we go to add to render queue. All right. Now, when we go to the render queue, you can see right here, it says render queue. It has our composition name, which is flat earth. And then we also have our output module right here. Okay. So these are extremely important because if you don't adjust the output module, you won't be able to export with a transparent background. All right, so you click on this drop down arrow and then you just search for lossless with alpha. It might be in a different place. I already exported with a transparent background before, so my uh, settings already had lossless with alpha there before. So that's what you wanna have is lossless with alpha. And then also, once we have that, then you go over output two, and then you can click on flat earth file. Okay. So when you click on this, it would allow you to name it and place it in the proper folder where you need to save it to. So you can go ahead and do that, put it in the proper folder and make sure you name it something that you can remember just in case you know, you're working on someone else's computer or you're working in a large group. You want to make sure that you name it something that you can remember. Maybe you name it your first name and then what you're working on. So maybe flat earth, uh, no background probably for this project because it will be the flat earth project. No background also means transparent background. So once you do that and save it in a proper folder, then you can just come over to render and then you click render and then you can see that this bar is processing the file. And once that goes and processes, you'll hear a ding. And depending on the processing power of your computer depends on how fast it renders it out. But after that, your file is rendered without a background and the project is complete. That's how you export with a transparent background. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Other than that, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more After Effects tutorials. All right, peace.